Hey guys, so this is a quick video I want to do about how I fixed my, my CD-ROM unit, CD-ROM unit 2. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm like many other people, I'm in love with this interface unit. And um, usually there's three things that can go wrong with a CD unit. Yeah. Either the, uh, your CD, your, your lens and your drive are gone. Pretty much the length, the, the lens assembly is gone, or in this case, um, the cog wheel, the pin wheel that turn around, uh, that being turned around by the motor, and um, it it becomes like a cheese, you know, the plastic melts, or it can be capacitors, uh, and in this case, this CD ROM, this is like another CD ROM that I got. Uh, its wheels are its pinwheels are fine so I guess it's the CD drive unit that is gone but I'm gonna open it and show you a little bit what's inside and how I fixed it in my situation so this this unit does not require any type of special screws all you need is like a normal Phillips uh, screwdriver just it's very easy only 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 four screws Don't lose screws. Now, when you open it, and carefully, um, you're going to see there's two types of models of PC Engine. One of them has grounding going from the from, from the motherboard into the grounding plate, and there's nothing on the bottom. Like you, you can see, this is the older model of the interface unit. The new model has like a little bump in it. This new model, you can see here, it's, it, it is being grounded to the interface unit itself. This piece right here, it ground itself. So make sure that your unit has a welded uh, piece right here. I mean, in case you, you got the older model. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna take the motherboard this way. And we cannot do it yet. There's another screw right here in the middle, just one. So let's open this one as well. So now you see that there are going to be two lines holding this assembly and we're going to take them out. So first of all this plastic right here, we're going to, we're going to pull it up. And this stripe, we can take it out now, see, no problem. And now a smaller stripe right here on the side, we'll take this one out also. And now we have everything ready open up like that sorry let me clean up a little bit so in case that you open it in case you, that your CD doesn't work uh, in my case um, two of my CD ROMs you can see here the middle the middle teeth right here in the middle usually it becomes you, you can see that it corrodes faster than the other teeth wheels pinwheels whatever you want to call it cogs you can see they are they are white and this one in the middle this one is still good but it's going to be bad soon and it's really strange it's a different material i don't know why especially this middle teeth wheel teeth is going bad but it usually does and and the next step that you guys have to do in in, in case that you open your cd room and you see that this one is gone that even even one teeth is gone is bad enough then um, well you have to order from a guy called Keith Courage that is screen name on PC Engine FX I, it took me a while to become a member until they authorized me for some reason I don't know why it took them so long but um, yeah I finally got authorized I got a membership in PC Engine FX and contact this guy he sent me from the United States three pieces like this already I fixed two CD-ROMs so this is a spare unit that I got looks like this he claims that he gets it from a bigger bundle but it perfectly works I think it drills I don't, I don't I think it does like a little more to it I, 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 or I think it's, it's sent it as is but let me tell you it, it is worth every penny I, I've been looking for it exact this is the perfect size wheel that you need and I had no idea how he found it 
but what you do next is um, and I'm following his tutorial first of all they're gonna be a little first of all wh what you need to do is open up three screws this one this one and this one and then you're able to take this whole assembly out well, I'm not gonna take it out but take my word for it it's pretty simple you just take them out and then you can pull this whole black thing out to this whole piece right here you can take it out then you're supposed to you're gonna be able to see here a little piece of metal right on the bottom it's right underneath the middle piece so first of all you take like little uh, pliers like this and you just like rip off the, this bad plastic out and it's a lot easier once you take this whole assembly out so you, you just rip it out and then you grab the metal piece right in the middle the, the, metal, the metal pin in the middle that that we, we want to take out you just like shake it and, and take it out it's 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 pretty easy and and the pin is is only like is only like it's very short pin so it's easy just just shake it a little bit again you have to take the, the CD assembly out but it's easy okay so once you got the, the plastic out and the metal pin out underneath the metal pin they're gonna be a little screw so with a normal Phillips you're gonna take it out also and you're gonna be able to take this little metal piece right here you're gonna be able to see it hopefully it's an iPhone it doesn't zoom well sorry but it's right here it's a metal piece you're gonna to have to take it out also so once you took the plastic the metal pin and the flat piece here out of it you're gonna take this wheel also out you're gonna pull it out it's pretty easy then all you have to do is put this wheel and match it with the teeth of this wheel right here so now you're gonna have like a big cog here working with this cog right there and it's pretty easy to fit this whole fix took me like for each each CD it took me like half an hour it's very short then the last step that you have to do first of all once you put all the wheels you you screw back the, the assembly and then you're gonna see from the motor there are gonna be two lines going out you can see them here blue and pink and they go all the way near this Sony motherboard right here right here and this is a simple this is a simple simple connection to take out you just like pull it out now what you need to do pretty much here is uh, the, you're, you're gonna reverse the polarity of, of, of the electrical signal which means that now we have only two cogs so instead of three cogs so now it means that we have to change the direction of the spin so this is done just by switching the blue and pink uh, wires and uh, I, I wouldn't suggest messing with this I've actually you don't even need to pull it out actually I mean I didn't I left this one inside I didn't mess with it because it's it's a little bit tricky to pull out the cables out of it uh, maybe there's a trick that I, I don't know but I, I didn't mess with this and also I didn't disconnect the the motor because you don't want to start welding the motor here there's plastic pieces it's really messy so I wouldn't touch here and I wouldn't touch that what 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 you should do is cut the cables here in the middle just cut them no need for soldering nothing and you simply use these pieces right here I'll show you this piece is right here you just like plug in the um, you, you don't even need to cut the lines out to pull out the you just leave the lines cut the way they are the wires cut the way they are you, you you don't need to expose any wire because once you put it inside you put each wire on each side and you just like crush it afterwards you see the, the this yellow cap you just crush it and what it does it just brings these two cables together it cuts them expose them and and, and connect them and it's so like this no need for soldering no need for messy pieces you know you just like connect a blue to pink and pink to blue and you just and these connected wires there's like a little space here you, you can leave these pieces like just hanging out there and that's it and then all you have to do is just put back put everything back carefully just just you know remember 
remember how these wires were attached you know it's pretty easy to connect it back here and here just connect them back and put it all together and you see this supposed to work in case only the cog went out and this is usually the reason so thank you again Keith Courage from PC Engine uh, FX for for uh, hooking me up with these pieces um, he, he sent them right away uh, he was really nice to me and, and answered right away send it to me and it's a fix that I think um, it's 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 pretty easy fix you know uh, in case your cogs went out and I, I got I got to work in CD ROMs now and I'm really happy about it so yeah so thank you guys for watching any question about any fixes or mods feel free to ask my ass thank you very much